Hello and welcome back to Lynch Paint, where I, Lynch, will be showing you how I paint Orc armour. So, grab your boys, grab your boss poles, and let's get wagging. Okay, so here we have our big orky machine of death and destruction, and what we're going to be looking at today is painting the armour panels onto it. Um, so adding some colour to it, and basically just finishing off the model. So, my Orc clan is, is kind of like a based on the Lucky Blue Gits. So I'm going to be painting quite a few of the armor panels in blue. Uh, you can do this same technique with um, with reds, with blacks, with any of the other goth clans you're going to be going for. So to kick things off I'm going to use Cantor Blue and mixing in uh, a little bit of Thousand Suns Blue and we're going to warm our paints down just that tiny bit. Then we're on a medium sized brush. And then what we're going to be doing is we will effectively just like stipple on the colour. So I'm just going to pick a panel. Let's pick its shoulder pad. So this one here. And we're just going to work from the middle outward and this will give a very similar effect as if you were to paint it blue and then weather it afterwards but we're kind of pre-weathering and with this we can just slowly fade it out towards the edges Just like that. So I'm going to whiz around, do this on a few other panels, and what we'll do is, is that slowly but surely, we'll do it now for you. So we'll add in some Thousand Suns Blue, and then again we'll just kind of work from the middle, and then we'll work outwards each time. Um, but we'll try and weight between coats than to dry. So I'm going to go with the first coat of Cantor Blue. I'm just going to go around the model and uh, yeah we'll be back with the next stage. So now we're going to move away from using Cantor Blue and we're going to be just using pure Thousand Suns Blue. And again with this process uh, you can paint as many or as few panels as you like because of course it is Orcs after all. You can make it look as rough and ram... ram... ram shambled? No, ram... <laughs> oh god, I can't speak. Boop. Ram... god damn it. Um, yes. What's it called? You can make it look as orky as you like. Yeah, I'll go with that. So, we're just repeating the same process as before, but we're just working in smaller and smaller circles. Just like so. And we're going to do this all over the blue areas. Um, or if you're using greens, um, or reds, or whatever colour you like, really. So, it's yeah, it's just starting out from using the darker colours first, building your way up to the lighter colours, and this is a, a really fun, just like quick way of getting your orcs painted up, your orc vehicles and stuff like that, and getting them ready onto the table. And with the sifting effect, it creates like a, a, a nice texture to it too. Um, that you, you know, is, is probably difficult to do doing it the other way around of obviously, you know, painting it whatever colour you like first and then doing the weathering on the top. So, yeah, I'm just going to crack on with this and then um, we'll move on to probably some of the fiddlier areas next. So, 
So now we're moving on to the next step. So we're going to look at the lenses. And for this, we are going to need the Abaddon Black and then whatever lens color you like to use. So because I've done the armor in a blue, I don't really want blue lenses, so I can either go with green or red, perhaps purple, maybe even orange. Um, so I'm going to choose today to go with green because it's just the orc color. So I'm going to go with a classic moot green for that. And this should be pretty straightforward. Um, so I'm just going to water down my black and I'm going to do this lens. Now what we're going to do is just start to introduce a little bit of moot green each time into our black. So I'm just going to water it down. Again, make sure we've got a nice smooth consistency. And what we're going to do is you see how my torch is kind of illuminating the kind of this top half here. We're going to leave those and that's where we want our white dots to go at the end. So we want to build a colour on the opposite side. So we want to come in this way and with our first shade we're going to go so just over halfway, perhaps like two thirds, and then the same again. It's much easier to do it on the smaller ones than it is on the large ones. And yeah, I'll do the other one for red. And again, this is the same principle for any colour that you're going to be using. So I'm going to add in again a bit more of this lovely mood green, and then we're just working smaller and smaller. And now we are adding in a little bit of white scar or your kind of white equivalent and we're going to do a 50 50 mix of this with the uh with our primary color so for this, this instance it's moot green and we're going to do a little line just there and then the same just a little dot really with those and then we're going to do the same on the opposite side. But we're going to do just a little circle, almost mimicking the torch light that we have here. And then if you want to add in a couple of additional little lights, little kind of dots, so let's pop one there, maybe one there. Just to show that there's different light sources coming in and with the smaller ones you just need just a little dab on the ends there so let's water that down uh, so <laughs> rinse our brushes off and then we're just going to use pure white and then we're just going to make a little dot within our circle up at the top here just like so And then a little one at the opposite end. There we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is lenses. So I'll do the other one, uh, probably in a red. And then we'll move on to some of his other accessories. So as a quick side note, uh, when you are using red for lenses, don't use white to brighten up your reds. You want to use a nice orange, because otherwise you'll end up with pink eye and no one wants a pink eye. Okay, now the, the lenses are done. All we're gonna do now is just really just run around and chase up um, any little kind of accessories, little kind of bits and pieces here and there. So um, like the teeth on the top you can't see but now you can the teeth at the top um, the horns if you want to do them as well you can do them in like a nice bone color um, I'm just gonna go around with a bit of yellow 
in a really tiny brush I'm just gonna just pick out the lightning bolt sigils just on some of the power packs you can paint the whole box yellow if you wanted um, but for me I normally just go around and there he is and just do the little lightning bolt in here yellow so I mean like really from here you can just call the model um, finished but if you wanted to go around and just kind of check over any little um, sort of extra bits and pieces here and there then you, you're more than welcome to of course um, I probably won't sort of go too far into it but I'll pick out some of like the, the power cables on the weapons and on the torso there uh, might pick out the, the straps that are on the exhaust at the top there so for that I'll use snake bite leather and some browns and just gradually load it up from there um, so I'm gonna crack on with them and then I'll see you when our little lad is finished and so here we are at the end of the video and this has been a fun video for me to do just to show you guys how fun and easy it can be to paint orc armor so I really hope that you have all learned something new today and if you have please let me know down in the comments below and give it give this video a nice like as well that'd be fantastic and if you are new then please you know if you just take two seconds just to push that subscribe button that would be amazing if you wanted to pick yourself up some new paints and orky models, then I do have a link to Wayland Games down in the description below. It is, of course, an affiliate link. Um, and if you do click that, then a little bit goes towards me and it costs you no more. So everybody wins. Um, if you wanted to see some stills of this model, then you can do over on my Instagram page at Lynch Paints. I've also not long um, started a giveaway as well on my Instagram, so if you're new and you haven't heard about it, go check it out. Um, I hit 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel, yay, which I'm very, very happy with. Um, and I thank each and every one of you. And yeah, it is basically just a giveaway of uh, some free models. So go have a little look. Who doesn't love free models? I also have a little uh, coffee page as well. I'll link that down below as well if you want to just chuck me a price of a coffee then yeah, that'd be amazing, and you will be an absolute legend. So, hope you enjoyed, stay safe, stay beautiful, and we'll see you next time.